Hello. In this video, we are going to cover how to install and set up Android Studio for programming FTC robots. The first thing we need to do is get the latest version of the Java Development Kit, or JDK, because Android Studio uses Java. Open a browser and go to this website, which has been linked in the description of this video. Then click on the Java download, accept the license agreement, and download the JDK for your operating system. When it finishes downloading, run the installer and step through the installation process. Once that finishes, go to the Android Studio download page, which is also in the description of this video, and click download. Accept the terms and conditions, and then click the download button. This will take some time. Once it finishes, run the installer and step through the installation process. When you're asked for which components you want to install, you can uncheck the Android Virtual Device. It's an emulator for Android devices and we don't need it, plus it's an extra gigabyte of download space. From here on, you can simply choose the default settings. You will reach multiple loading screens, so wait patiently for them to finish. Once the installation is complete, you will arrive at the Android Studio welcome window and you will need to import the FTC SDK or Software Development Kit. If you don't know what that is, it basically contains a bunch of code that allows us to write op modes for the robots. To get it, check out our video on version control. If you really wanted to, you could just skip that and download the FTC SDK directly, but there are numerous advantages to using version control. Without it, it's hard to have multiple programmers working on the same code, and it's difficult to update to the latest version of the SDK, so we highly recommend using version control. Once you have the FTC SDK in your computer, we need to import it into Android Studio. You only need to import the project for the first time, and then you can open it later on. Click the Import Project button and navigate to the FTC SDK. Select the folder, not anything inside, and then click OK. Then Android Studio will import it for you. There will likely be multiple times when you need to install extra tools or components. An error message will pop up, so just click the blue link to automatically fix it. Again, wait patiently for everything to finish up. You may also be asked to update your Gradle plugin. Again, just click Update. You will know that it's all done when there are no longer any processes taking place in the bottom bar of Android Studio, and the Project tab on the left shows you these folders. Now you're ready to start programming. Hopefully this video teaches you enough to install and set up Android Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.